What is going on, YouTube? Borna, aka Hog, here. And today we have a very special, special video. I'm going to be breaking down. It was a 15 minute interview. I broke it down into the juiciest things that I want to talk about. The very great, the goaded, and I know you're watching Miss Marty Caswell, the best journalist in the Friar community, takes on Mr. Peter Seidler himself. I don't even want to skip to the shit. I'm not going to waste any time. Let's get right into it. Sense, I mean, you, I'm sure you're learning more about your team and your players. That they, but perhaps they needed an experienced manager. They needed someone that who's been there and done that and done this before and can get in their face when things were starting to deteriorate. Do you think the fact that you've had back-to-back -back rookie managers has hurt some of the players on this team? Yeah. She's going right in. Okay. She's going right in. And this is what I love about Marty. She doesn't care if she's talking to the, the double-A manager or the top dog himself, Peter Seidler. She's going to speak her mind. She's going to speak the truth. And she's going to speak what we want to hear as Padres fans. Seidler's response. When we hired Jace, we, we talked to a number of people with experience also. And we just felt he was the right fit for us. And... and um, but all things being equal, experience is a is a clear and significant plus, and that will be factored into the decision we make when it comes to hiring a manager. You know, how how we approach things next year will will be determined by the manager. You know, his 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 vision. So how we approach things next year will be determined by the manager, his vision, whatnot. Sure, that's all great and all, Peter. But you need to have the requisite evaluation to find this right manager. Because if you go bring on a third time man, a third time, first time manager, how is he going to have this players? How is he going to have the players to have this guy's back? If that's the situation, number one. Let's continue the rest from Seidler. And, and you know, uh, making sure that the vision of the manager matches that of AJ and myself. But it, it, it's AJ's hire. I mean, we talked. We, we talked. There it is, everybody. It's AJ's hire. Again, and again, and again, and again, and again. It's AJ Preller's hire. And nobody else's. But hey, AJ has his advisors. No, y'all, no. His advisors are his obsequious peers, okay? They're not his advisors. It's AJ or it's the highway. It's his decision, and he don't give two shits if he's a third first-time manager. You don't give two shits. Do you get the sense now, I mean, you're... We talked and brainstorm and have for a long time. You know, we know what each other cares about. And, you know, the experience word came up two years ago in this process. And mm -hmm. It's come up now. I'll, I'll, you know, I don't want to exclude a first-time manager who... May Oh my God. And I get it. I know you don't want to exclude a first time manager for evaluation purposes, but at a certain point, Peter, you just have to say, we're not getting a first time manager regardless of the upside of it. But Jace has upside. We don't got time for that, Peter, please. He become a hall of famer just because that person is 42 years old. I don't want to exclude a first-time manager. You hear that? I'm playing it for y'all again. I don't want to exclude a first-time manager. Fuck. Who may become a Hall of Famer just because that person is 42 years old. We don't have time. We literally don't have time to wait. We don't have time to care if he's going to be a Hall of Famer at 55 when he's 42 years old. Our window's now. It's not 2035. Guys that you interviewed a couple years ago, Ron Washington was someone that AJ knows from, from Texas. He's had World Series experience, back-to-back -back World Series experience. I, I'm not sure if Bruce Bochy is is interested in managing again after all this, but you have guys Marty goes who in. have done it who have commanded respect from their players. And would who have commanded respect from their players, unlike Jace Tingler. Genius journalism, Miss Marty. Genius. I, think that that would, I, I just am wondering, like, how does it go over with that group of players Guys are coming back. Like, here you go. Here's a third straight first-time manager. What a question. She's saying essentially to Peter, Peter, come on. You really think these older players in the clubhouse, Machado's going to be 30? Myers, if he remains, is going to be over his 31, 32. Hosmer, 31, 32. 
How are these guys going to be okay with the third first-time manager where it's completely failed the first two times? Peter's response. And so it is. And again, experience... Come on! What? It's high on the list of things that we value. Mm -hmm. They said that in 2019 when they hired Jason. They said that in 2017 when they hired Andy. Experience. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. But it's not the only thing. So... It, um, we will get the right person, uh, but I'm not going to have a litmus test of, you know, it, that, that person must fit this certain demographic. Too limiting. It's, it's um, you know, there, there's no reason to do it. We're, we're throwing the net out pretty wide. You know, again, the, the most straightforward way I can explain. They're throwing the net out pretty wide, guys. Again. They're doing their full, full due diligence, as they should. But the fact that they are so open to having another first time or experience is important. But experience can come in many different ways. Peter and AJ are kind of saying the same words. You remember AJ Preller in his press conference was saying, listen, experience can come in a lot of different ways. It doesn't only have to be someone who's been in the game for 40 years. It can be a player who played for 20 years. It can be someone who's on their second or third job. According to AJ Preller, then Andy Green is experienced as he's had two jobs now. Bullshit. And them echoing the same thing showed that, you know, Peter Seidler's essentially is a puppet of Preller as well. And just wait till what he has to say about Preller. From what I saw is we did not have players, coaches, manager, front office, owner, all pulling on the same end of the rope this year. And that is eminently fixable. And I can promise you it'll be fixed before the start of the season next year. Oh, I, we're doing so much better. He promised it's going to be fixed. Yay. We'll see. Listen, I appreciate your time, Peter. I know you've been asked all these same questions by other members of the media. I guess I'd ask you this. Is is um, is this a must year? Is this a must win year for, for AJ Fowler? You're, you're going into what? I think season number eight, and there's been zero winning seasons in a, in a, in a, in a full, under a full 162. Is this a must win year? For AJ Preller. Zero winning seasons in the full seasons. Your owner's response right now on the Hog Watch. No, it's not. <clears throat> Did I just hear anything but yes? Excuse me? Let's, let's, let's hear that again. No, it's not a must-win year. I mean, things happen in this game. I'm, you know, as confident in AJ as I could possibly be. This franchise is in trouble. For this job, to me, are exceptional. This, this franchise is in trouble. And that is, is really an unshakable belief that I have in AJ. And... Uh, I'm as solid with AJ as I can be. I believe in him. His franchise is in him. trouble. I love the fact that he's unafraid to be bold from time to time. And some of those bold moves have worked out for us fantastically. We'll show up next year and we'll credibly be in the conversation to bring the World Series Championship to San Diego. That's what it's all about. And AJ is the person that's going to do it. There you guys have it, man. You have a very, very, very confident owner in his hire. And at this point, he has no other reason to not be confident in him because of the situation, because of the team's window. But come on. This is not a must-win season for A.J. Preller? Are you serious? Peter Seidler. I know there's one thing for you to tell the media, but you got to be honest here, my man. I hope you're lying to the media. Because it's 100% a winning season for AJ Pro. It's 110% a winning, a must-win season for AJ Pro. I want you all to let me know down below what your thoughts were on the Marty Caswell Peter Seidler interview. It was a very great interview. Um, we broke it down a little bit. I wanted you all to really see it and get exposed to it. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'm signing out. Peace.